and they're shouting, He's a spy! He's a spy! Huh? <laughs> and we hear bells. Hundreds of bells. <laughs> Today, we have Alex. Today's protagonist. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what, what did we order today? We're in a restaurant called the Bailey Mama Tai. Which translates to Mama's Taste. Mama's Cooking. So this is spinach mainly, and nuts? peanuts, and pine nuts. This is pork ribs. That's beef with uh, cumin and spices and green pepper. This is pork with sauerkraut. This is his favorite dish, eggplants with pork. So if you're interested about what are the names of all the food, you can find that all the names are down at the description below. Let's eat. <clears throat> I'm so hungry. This is one of my favorite dishes here. I love it. It's very sour. It is. Mm. But I love sour. So. What gives it the sour taste, do you know? Mm, vinegar, probably. Okay. Mm. The peanut and the sour. It goes really well together. Mm. Very I don't good. Know. No. Mm. I've never tried this before. Mm. So this is beef. Mm -hmm. mm, beef and onions and green pepper. It's a little spice. It's cumin. Yeah. Cumin is a really popular spice that Chinese people use mm -hmm. for their like any type of barbecue. Mm -hmm. And this is pork with um, sauerkraut. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah? mm -hmm. oh, that's good. I've yeah. never had that before either. Mm -hmm. oh, this is good. Yeah. It's not as spicy as it looks. I really like this flavor. I want to try this. You realize we're not mm. saying anything? <laughs> we're so hungry. Mm -hmm. No, no, I just wanted to eat. I'm so hungry. Like, just, you know, it's like four, 5 o'clock right now. I know, this is the first thing we've eaten we all day. We, <laughs> we haven't had any breakfast or lunch. <laughs> this is really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah? Mm. And this pork, I want to say. Mm -hmm. This pork has that um, crunchy soft one yeah. that I really like. Mm -hmm. mm. I wish people can start recommending us like good places that we can go. Yeah. You know, that'd be awesome. That'd be good. Leave in the comments below. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. Yeah? Mm. On my travels, I must say, I have traveled a, a fair bit. I can safely say I have been to every single country in Europe. The most interesting thing that happened was um, after high school, after graduating high school right away. It is the travel that I remember Yay! the most. Sorry. So um, I graduated high school and uh, we decided to go backpacking. Mm -hmm. So we decided to go around Europe. I was coming up from Spain, so I was traveling north and then they were traveling south. I don't think you ever said where you grew up. Oh yeah, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, for those of you who cannot tell from my accent, <laughs> I grew up in a small island called the Canary Islands, an archipelago off the coast of Morocco that is Spanish territory. So I, I, my child is pretty much Spanish. Right. Yeah, there. For the record. <laughs> but anyway, around the travel, we leave Poland and we move down mm -hmm. to the Czech Republic. We were heading towards Prague and of course we have to cross the border and I have a Korean passport. Mm -hmm. At the time, the Czech Republic had been outside the communist regime for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. They still had a North Korean embassy active they had a lot of communist ties with like the old soviet or what else and whatnot mm -hmm. so i'm crossing the border we were on one of those um bed hot, um trains okay where you so have... like a like a long distance train yeah you know we're being foolish it was like in the evening about to go to bed and <laughs> boys be boys yeah <laughs> and about three in the morning mm. We feel the train stop, and all we hear on the train carrier is passport, passport, passport. Okay. So my friend show British passport. Okay, okay. I show my passport, mm -hmm. and it says Republic of Korea. The frontier people, they're not like policemen dressed up. They're like blacked out military with like machine guns. Okay. Right? So they go out, out. So they force me to take my bag. Mm. So I take my bag down. I carry it out. And I'm stepping out the train. This is three o'clock in the morning. Oh my right? god! So, it, it, and as I just experienced Auschwitz, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh no! And you know, you know how the railroads on the side it's all gravel, yeah. so it's like a lot of stones. And as I'm looking, I look out, 
and I am the only person getting off the train. Literally, and I'm just shitting my pants, right? Were they like mean to you? Were they shouting? They were shouting, right? And then they were like this, and then the other guy with the passport. So oh, you like, didn't ask why? They spoke in Czech. Um, they didn't speak English. Okay. So they were saying shit. Right? Okay. They were like, I was like, okay, okay, okay. So I was like, they have guns. I'm a teenager, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm scared, so I'm like, okay. And then they take my bag, they open my bag, and they just turn it around and they empty it. So every single content in my bag just falls on the ground. <laughs> All the condoms fell out. <laughs> See, mom, security first. <laughs> It's nothing but condoms. <laughs> glad. And then they asked me, down, down, mm. down. So I go down. And I'm down on the ground. And I got scared with my hand behind my head. Like my hands behind my head. You were face down. I was on face the down on the ground. And with all my shit. Like and then they talk on the walkie talkie for a bit. Right? I'm like, okay, okay. What accent was that? What was that? I don't know. I'm pretending to speak Czech. In the meantime, my friends were outside the window just cracking up. Wow! Alex, they're gonna kill you! You watch out, don't move, don't move! They're gonna kill you! Oh my god. And they're shouting, he's a spy! He's a spy! Oh uh, Are you serious? Yeah. Are you still in touch with those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, then it's just, uh, at, at the moment, I was, I was like, you know, I was so scared. Oh my god. But thinking back at it, it was so funny. But end of the story is that, you know, they talk on the walk talking for a bit. And they go, okay, okay. And then they just leave. What? So I'm there just packing all my stuff again. Did they explain? They, I mean, you would understand anyway. No, no. He said, okay, okay. And then they just left. What? So I'm, I'm saying. They point a gun at you. Did they point a gun at you? I don't know. I was face down. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. I think they thought I might be North Korean. Okay. I don't know. You know? Oh my god. If you think I look North Korean, leave a comment down <laughs> below. Comment below. <laughs> I had another incident. So this was in Austria. Mm. We already checked out the Czech Republic. Is this the same trip? It's the same trip. Okay. So we had we never had any reservation for accommodation. Usually we get off the train station, we go to the tourist information, try to find the use hostel. So we had some random encounters. We had like old grandmothers asking, you know, offering us rooms. And of course you're skeptical. But then if you're 18, you're fearless. Right? Yeah, well, yeah. So you just accept, you go. Are you fearless or stupid? <laughs> well, there's a fine line, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we got to Austria, we had nowhere to stay. Okay. So we had a problem. Mm. But during our full travel, we were carrying a 20 kilogram tent huh? that we were taking tur turns to carry. So right? were you guys planning on like camping? No. Then what was the tent about? Just in case we couldn't have accommodation. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh. We get to Vienna and we check the place out. We have nowhere <clears throat> to stay. So what we decide to do is just to get the next train to the mountains. So we get there around dinner time. Mm. And then we look out the window and we go, hey, this seems like a really nice place to go. <laughs> this, that seems like the yeah. mountain. So we get, hey, hey, get off, get off, get off. We get the stuff and we get off, the train leaves. Mm. And my friend is like, ah, oh, shit. I'm like, what? I got the tent, I left my bag there. So he left his bag. You guys, I just realized <laughs> that teenage boys, teenage boys, man. <laughs> so we so. go, we go to, the, to the ticket place. And by the way, though, we were the only people that got off there, right? Because it was, it was like in the middle of nowhere, wasn't, literally. It wasn't a very popular mountain. Yeah, I mean, you could hear the sound of music lady coming from the mountains, <laughs> kind of in the middle of nowhere. So we get there and we say, hey, we left the bag there. They said the ticket number, they said the carriage, etc, etc. It says, the train comes back at 11. They said, okay, cool. And it was about 5 o'clock. Okay. <clears throat> so we get the tent, we get our stuff, and we just climb, we just hike up the mountain. Okay. We set a tent. We make a little fire, you know, not too loud because we, we didn't know if the land was illegal or not. <laughs> oh my god. Right around 9 o'clock, we start walking back down and then we see the train. The train arrives, the train stops, and you see the guy with the bag. So you only see the hand mm -hmm. with the bag. Sticking out of the train. Uh, sticking out of the train. He drops the bag and the train leaves. <gasps> oh my god, that's such like, a, like a cinematic image. Yeah. And we're like, shit. 
you're back. <laughs> and that was so cool because you um, know, cute and pretty yet a little bit eerie. <laughs> image. It, it was, it was. <laughs> And then yeah, so we got the bag. We were all happy because he got hit. everything is in there. <clears throat> okay. More interesting thing is we wake up and we hear bells, hundreds of bells, <laughs> like cow. Yes. <laughs> and we see this German guy shouting. And we're like, oh shit! I I think this is somebody's land. Let's pack it up. So we pack up as, as quick as possible. Did um, you see the cow? Yeah. You saw the cow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundreds of cows? Like right there, like where your eyes, like, you know, right there. <laughs> you oh didn't you God. didn't have to force your eyes or anything. It was like very comfortably, <laughs> you could you. see the hundreds of cows like coming towards your tent. I'm like, hey, I think this is somebody's land. We've got to pack it up. I've never, <laughs> I've never disassembled a tent that quick. <laughs> But yeah, and then uh, we went back to continuing our troubles. Wow. Yeah. At 18? No, 19. 18. 18. Yeah. So stupid, but fun. <laughs> <laughs> stupid and fun sometimes goes well together. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> so next time we travel, we're not going to take our phones with us. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs>